Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am your host, Ravina Roscabon, and today I am going to get into a little astrology of the celebrity. So my subject for today is Birdman, because Birdman has been in the news lately, of course, with the whole Breakfast Club fiasco, uh, him basically uh, making a fool of himself by showing up there with his squad and trying to... Uh, <laughs> basically uh, tell them to put some respect in his name and stop playing with his name. So I just wanted to go over his natal chart and numerology real quick, just to explain why he's so adamant about people respecting his name and stop playing with it. So Birdman was born on February 15th, 1969. So that makes him an Aquarius, but because he's born on the 15th, that makes him a softened Aquarius. So uh, if you know anything about the sign Aquarius or Aquarians, it's a pretty hardcore sign. Aquarians are pretty tough. You know, they're not very emotional. They're, you know, very, you know, nonchalant a lot of times, very independent. However, with Birdman being a 15, He's soft, like I said, for an Aquarius. And 15 is also a number that really needs love and relationships in order to feel fulfilled and to thrive. 15, when it breaks down to six, and that's the number of Venus. So that's some soft energy right there. That's feminine energy. So that kind of, uh, you know, deals with his persona. And if you listen to his voice, it is kind of soft and you know, just the way he carries himself is not very manly, in my opinion. Also, uh, what's very telling about his chart is that he has his south node in Libra, which would put his north node in Aries. Now, he just not only has his north node in Aries, he also has Chiron in Aries, which is an asteroid. It's very important in your natal chart. He also has Venus in Aries and Saturn in Aries. So that would be called a stellium, meaning like he has different planets in Aries or more than two planets in Aries. So what that tells me is that he has a strong need to find himself because in past lives, if you believe in that, I sure do. In past lives, he was a big time follower. Uh, he had a hard time taking the lead. That deals with his south node in Libra. Also, uh, with his south node in Libra, he has Uranus right next to his south node, as well as Jupiter. So that reinforces the whole theme of him being a follower, him not, you know, knowing who he really is. Uh, basically, him, you know, just following other people's lead and not being able to stand up for himself. Now, he, I saw an interview with him today, um, Hot 97. They interviewed him at his palace in Florida. I guess I think it's in Miami, Florida. But um, he was basically saying that he grew up, uh, he basically, he lost both of his parents. So that can deal with uh, South Node and Libra. Um, he also, at a very early age, you know, kind of back to back. I think it was like within a year. So that could be South Node and Libra because Libra deals with marriage and couples and relationships. So as we all know, it really takes a mother and a father to raise a child properly. So with that South Node and Libra, oftentimes the person has to sacrifice uh, relationships in this current lifetime. So it could have started with his relationship. Well, it did start with his relationship with his parents. But basically, he said that he also uh, spent some time in a group home. So that's very South Node in Libra as well. Also, what reinforces that is that uh, the South Node in Libra is conjunct Uranus and Jupiter. So that deals with his karma and him having to be in a group home. Libra deals with uh, groups. So does Uranus. So basically, all his life he hasn't been able to assert himself and basically look out for number one. He's always had to share things with others. He's always had to, you know, make joint decisions and everything like that. And, you know, you could think about when he was, uh, he created the big timers with Manny Fresh in them. And he, he never really stood on his own. 
I think he might have put out some music on his own or whatever. I don't know if anybody bought that shit. But basically, the reason why he kept saying respect my name is because all of that energy in Aries with the South Node in Libra, Aries deals with names and titles. So literally, he's basically saying respect my name. That's how he really feels because he felt in past lifetimes, and this is subconscious on his part, he really lacked a name. He lacked individuality, which is Aries. He lacked, you know, the ability to assert himself and to be respected as an individual. What's also bad is his moon is in Aquarius. That's pretty uh, difficult to navigate just for anybody having moon in Aquarius. Oftentimes that means that you lacked uh, nurturing in your early years. He did lose his mother at an early age, and I think it was a sudden death. I think he said it was an accident. Um, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, moon in Aquarius is not a really good place for the moon to be. And also that makes him very group oriented as well. So now the thing with Aquarius, it's tricky because Aquarius deals with groups but it also deals with independence. So the ideal Aquarian would be the leader of a group. But with, uh, so he has achieved that part, but he's still lacking that confidence in terms of who he really is deep down inside. And that's why he had that uh, little meltdown on the breakfast club and he's still not over it. So, and also that Aries energy that deals with like uh, youth, and also, um, in particular, boyhood. Now, we could get into his sexuality and all of that stuff, but that's for a... Maybe I'll touch on that in another video, but I really just wanted to explain why he's so wrapped up and respecting his name. So, that's my explanation. Please feel free to comment. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos. Peace and blessings.